In this video tutorial, you will learn to run the Department Expendable Report. The Department Expendable Report tracks expendable balances with or without commitments and in-year revenue and expense activity across all funds. This report can be pivoted many different ways, such as by Fund Department, Department Fund, and Fund Program, to name a few. To navigate to the Department Expendable Report from the FAST homepage, click on the Finance Reporting link under the Applications box on the right-hand side of the screen. From the Finance Reporting homepage, click on the Operating Statements menu at the top of your screen and select by GL Code Pivot and Department Expendable. You are now at the Filter screen. From here, you can select how you want the report to run by choosing Filters. You must choose at least one chart field to filter on. Please see the page notes at the bottom of the screen for helpful hints and tips. In this example, I will run this report for a fictional department. You can use the drop-down menu to find your department or type it directly into the search field. Click the green plus sign to add your department code to the filter box. To select a date, click on the drop-down menu to choose a specific month year, or click on the function button for specific date criteria such as current fiscal period or last fiscal year end. The sum by filter will determine how your report displays. The report is summarized based on the first value chosen and the detail is based on the second value chosen. As an example, to summarize fund activity by department, choose Sum by Department ID Fund. This will display activity for all funds that have transactions in my selected department. Please note, if you choose Sum by Department ID Program, you must report on only one fund in order for the drill downs to work properly. If you choose Sum by Fund Program, you must report on only one department in order for the drill downs to work properly. Once you have selected the applicable filter criteria, click on Execute Report. Here are your report results when summarized by Department ID Fund. If you need to run the report at the faculty level or for multiple departments, you can pivot the report by Fund Department. To do so, click on the Filter Trail to return to the filter options. Delete the department you were previously running the report for by clicking on it and then clicking on the red X. Click on the drop-down menu for department and select multiple departments or the faculty you wish to run the report for. Select Sum by Fund Department ID and click Execute Report. I will now explain the different features of this particular report. Opening Surplus Deficit plus Adjustments represents the opening expendable balance plus any adjustments made to expendable equity during the current year. The Revenue and Expenses columns represent the current year activity. Ending Balance represents the sum of the opening surplus deficit and revenue columns minus expenses. The Commitments column represents the outstanding committed amounts as of the date the report is run. Ending Balance Including Commitments represents the sum of Opening Surplus Deficit and Revenue columns minus Expenses and Commitments. Remember that you can always drill down on any hyperlinked value for more details. For example, I can click on the Fund Code for a Summary Level Report at the Account Level. From there, I can click on any of the hyperlinks to view transaction details. Finally, I can click on the hyperlink journal ID to see the details of the journal entry. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video tutorial on the Department Expendable Report. 
More video tutorials on the FAST financial reporting tool are available through the TRAC and the Financial Services websites.